On this account, we started as a level one in GTA Online. And the only way I made money was by spinning a wheel determining what I should buy next. But today in this video, we will begin our final journey to purchase the most expensive item in GTA Online to reach a luxurious state in society finally. So welcome to episode 79 of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So we are on the home stretch of Loser to Luxury and our final quest is to buy the most expensive item in GTA Online. And we're finally at that stage because we purchased every single business in GTA Online and that was the goal of Loser to Luxury. Start out with nothing and slowly but surely acquire every single business along with some fun things in between so that we can make a final push to purchase the most expensive item in GTA Online. And that item is going to be the Super Yacht. See, there's three different yachts that we can purchase we can get the orion the pisces and the aquarius and you can see right there it quite literally says this one obviously which i mean it makes sense we are obviously going to purchase this one i mean why would we go for like the broke boy orion super yacht or the slightly less broke boy pisces super yacht no 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 we are getting the aquarius but it's not even gonna be eight million it's gonna be more because we are going to just trick this thing out absolutely so in total, this yacht is going to cost me $10 million. And in order for us to reach this $10 million mark, we're going to split up the finale into four parts. And currently right now, I'm sitting on $43,000. So we have a long, long ways to go before we can actually even ponder the idea of purchasing the super yacht. And the finale for us to actually purchase this super yacht, we are going to be splitting into four parts. And for each of these parts, it's going to be with out wheel spins. We're going to be doing stuff that's going to be pretty exciting in GTA Online, but also pays out pretty well in the process so we can slowly build our way up to $10 million. We're just not going to do Cayo Perico 10 times over. We're not doing that. I might sneak in a Cayo Perico, but we're not just going to sit here and just do that over and over again. But right now we're on part one of the finale. And as you can see right here, I'm in my arcade and well, this arcade looks like crap. Not going to lie, this arcade looks terrible. But anyways, I'm in my arcade because we are going to be doing the diamond casino heist for part one and we're doing the diamond casino heist because the arcade that i'm standing in right now was the second to last business i was actually able to purchase so we only had an opportunity to do the diamond casino heist for only like a few episodes so the wheel spins never landed on the diamond casino heist and i'm not gonna cheat y'all out of a diamond casino heist that i'm actually gonna host i haven't hosted a diamond casino heist yet in season number two of loser to luxury and we're gonna change that right here today in this episode for part Part one of the finale. So yeah, let's head over and let's start setting up the Diamond Casino Heist. So yeah, we're gonna actually gonna set up the Diamond Casino Heist right here. And I'm gonna walk you through setting up the Diamond Casino Heist. And actually the finale that I'm going to do, or the at least the strategy I want to do, I've never done before. And I wanna do it this specific way just because I think this one is pretty interesting from what I've kinda seen. So yeah, we're doing the Diamond Casino Heist for the first time and we have to go and scope out a lot of different stuff from the Diamond Casino for our first time, which is going to be a little bit annoying. All right, so I'm at the Diamond Casino. And you take photos of different spots, and I'm gonna scope this out to the best of my abilities. <laughs> oh my God, I've never, okay. I'm trying to scope out one of the points of interest, and oh my, this is so hilarious to me. Yeah, Miss Baker's secretary was like, oh, Miss Baker's ready for you, which is like, okay, that's interesting. And I just walk in, and she's just sitting here, like, what was she doing there? Like, looking at her nails? Yeah, you no, know, it's exactly what she's doing. She's like, looking at her hands or something. Like, okay, this is so interesting, because like, right here, we need to take the photo of this, which is the Casino Vault blueprints, and she just doesn't think that this is suspicious. Like, okay. <laughs> if I scope out Miss Baker, a uh, smile. Oh, he kind of looked in my direction. That's kind of cool. Okay, Lester doesn't want that. Ah, oh, that's right. He's pursuing another woman. I forget. I'm sorry, sorry. He's a loyal man. Yeah, I quite literally think that's everything. It's just so funny to me. I just get to chill out in here. All right, and there we go. We scoped out the Diamond Casino there, so we have to head all the way back to our arcade, and then I think we have pretty much another scope out mission that we have to do. All right, so after scoping out quite literally everything. We have this board a little bit assembled now, but I guess Lester's gonna force me to zoom in all the way up here. So yeah, now what we need to do is do that mission right there. We have to scoop out the vault content. So we have to go all the way back to the Diamond Casino once again and pretty much figure out what's gonna be our primary target, which I already know what our primary target is gonna be for this first one. It's always the same, but just in case you don't know, you'll find out when I actually find it for myself. All right, so we made it back over to the Diamond Casino and we need to search the vault camera feed. Okay, now 
now we're inside the vault so we need to look at the vault contents which is going to be the same every single time we do the diamond casino heist the first time and it's going to be cash which is the worst one so that, that's not great but i mean it will be a little bit better for us doing it the first time just because we're going to get some first time bonuses for completing the diamond casino eyes yeah you can also get gold or paintings inside the vault which i mean both of them are going to be a lot better than cash but it's all good so yeah now we just need to leave the area and there we go heist prep complete so now we can actually truly start setting up the diamond casino heist now all right so we scooped out the casino and we scooped out the vault content so now what we need to do is select our approach and there's going to be three different approaches we can select from we have the silent and sneaky approach and then we have the big con approach and then we have the aggressive approach all right so the way we're going to do our first ever diamond casino heist as a host is going to be through the big con approach i'm going to do the big con approach because i want to do a specific disguise i haven't used before for the big con approach okay there we go that's pretty much all we needed to do so now we can scroll over to the prep board oh my god okay so i think the way that i actually want to do the diamond casino ice the big con approach i actually i don't think i have it unlocked yet it's kind of stupid the way i have to unlock the way i want to do this so i'm gonna go unlock it real quick okay so i'm back at my penthouse i actually have a penthouse at the casino that we're actually gonna rob which is pretty funny but in order for me to do what i want to do we need to go to the roof terrace yeah i mean this is the roof terrace so i think i can get the cutscene by no apparently not hold on we try this again it says i need to go through the elevator so we go to the roof terrace via the elevator and let's try that again okay we do get a cutscene okay there's young ancestor and he's gonna be a big part of the way that we're actually going to be doing the big con finale okay we just sat through that cutscene okay yeah lester just called us and pretty much he said that we can use him lashing out in that cutscene as an opportunity for us to rob the casino so he can get us on the inside or something along those lines so yeah i think we're good there i think we've done all that i need to do as far as that's concerned so i'm gonna head back over to my arcade which yeah i can just teleport there and then once we get back to the arcade apparently young ancestor calls us okay well young ancestor isn't calling me okay here's our prep board now uh the young ancestor entry disguise is currently locked because we have to select our support crew members but yeah we'll do that now i i think i've done everything i need to do to unlock young ancestor all right so right now what we're trying to do is we're trying to select our support crew now the way i like to pick my support crew i like to go by this weapons don't really matter especially when we're doing it the big con approach even even if you're doing it the aggressive way i still prefer to do it with lesser weapons but that's just me so yeah we are going to select carl he's the worst one. Oh yeah by the way too if you're just wondering why we're selecting the worst one it's because these worst ones they take the least amount of money so this one right here this is the worst driver cream dens he takes five percent but this person's a little bit better they take more of a percentage this person's a little bit better than that last one they're gonna take an even bigger percentage but yeah anyways we're gonna to select kareem right here same ordeal we're gonna be taking the cheapest option and now we're gonna select a hacker and this is the option you probably don't want to use the cheapest option for so ricky lukens he's gonna be the cheapest option and they have christian feltz johan blair they have a mystery person oh this mystery person i know this mystery person this mystery person is avi schwartzman you unlock him by destroying all 50 signal jammers across the map which i have not done on this account so avi schwartzman is locked but then we have Paige Harris right here. Paige is going to take 9%, but the reason we want a better hacker is because a better hacker is going to give us more time in the vault, and you'll see why that's important once we actually make it to the vault. But yeah, we're going to select Paige Harris right here. All right, so that's our crew. Uh, First things first, I'm going to get all the stuff for the support crew, so we're going to need to select a weapon loadout. Now, each gunman will give you two options of weapons that you can select from. For Carl, it's going to be a micro SMG loadout and then a shotgun loadout. As I've said before, you really shouldn't be using weapons during this heist. You really should not be using weapons, at least during the big con approach. But just in case if things go bad, because we're going to be doing this with randoms, but just in case if things go bad, I'm going to be using a micro SMG loadout just for a little bit more range. So yeah, let's go out and get our micro SMG loadout. I think there's different missions that you can get. This one right here, we have to search news fans for the weapons. It just seems a little bit annoying. How am I supposed to search these news fans? Do I have really have to take out all these cops 
I was kind of excited that this mission was like really, really close to my arcade, but no, I'm not excited anymore because we have to take out a bunch of cops. I think I've taken out pretty much everyone that we've needed to. How am I supposed to search the news van? Is this one of the missions where I have to like use a sticky bomb? All right, are you in here? No, you are not in here. Great. Thank you, Van. Oh, and my vehicle's been impounded. But just in case if your vehicle gets impounded like me, you can call up your assistant if you actually have an office building. And you can recover your impounded vehicle for $1,000 just from anywhere on the map. Like, I'm in Grape Seed. Why would I go all the way back to Los Angeles just to get my oppressor? It's going to be annoying. But there we go. Assistant got my vehicle for $1,000. There's the weapon right there. All right, nice. So yeah, let's get inside. And now we need to lose the cops, bring these weapons back to our arcade, and then we should be good to go. All right, and there we go. We delivered our weapons back to the arcade. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our getaway vehicle. Now I think this one, we get four options. With Cream, there's two options that are absolutely bad. And the two options that are bad, at least in my opinion, are gonna be the Asbo and the Kanjo, which is so sad because those are fun names to say out loud. Now these two are so bad, because they're just so weird to drive. They're front wheel driving cars, which is so bizarre. So we're not doing those. And I think it'd be funny just to get the Issy Classic. So let's go out and get that. Bro, this is great. Dude, we're getting some nice prep missions. This prep mission is going to be at the Sandy Shores Airfield, which I mean, this mission is a little bit annoying just the way it's set up. At least solo, it's a little bit annoying. We have to go to the airstrip and then we have to like steal vehicle, deliver it to the arcade, then go back here and then do it all over again. I mean, yeah, as far as location is concerned, it's way better than what it could be. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. Holy. Oh my God. That scared me. You don't even know what probably even happened. I got jump scared by the horn to start the race. I feel like that's incredibly embarrassing. Okay, how are y'all not dead? Okay, one's dead. Can I hit a cheeky snipe in the clouds? Okay, I need to go stop that car before it goes all the way to Vice City. Oh, never mind. It just takes laps around the airstrip. All right, come on. How did I hit him? I don't even know how I hit him there, but apparently I did. So now we just need to deliver these getaway vehicles to the arcade, which is going to be across the pond. Then we should be good to go. All right, and there we go. We've delivered our getaway vehicles and we can actually go here. We can upgrade our getaway vehicles. I mean, it's kind of silly, but I kind of want to do it just for like one reason. You can spend $25,000 per getaway vehicle to get certain upgrades. So like this top upgrade right here, the upgrade level three, it stalls turbo and 100% armor upgrades from level one and level two are also included which i don't even know what that means i literally came over here just to make this car orange for the dr crusher orange that's it that's quite literally it that's all i want to do the okay, same thing applies over to this other getaway vehicle so yeah we'll just make it orange and there we go two orange getaway vehicles all right so now what we have to do is go out and get the hacking device so yeah let's go ahead and get into that all right so we've made it over to the fib building we had to go and get a security pass which we already did so now we need to enter the fib building with our bullet holes on our coat but you know it's all good because we have security pass no one's gonna judge us so now we just need to take the elevator up to the upper levels all right so yeah we're supposed to be looking for a device and you pull out your site to your app which is in your phone but i already have it pulled up the hacking device is in the bathroom very interesting hey, i guess i won't judge uh yeah so we just need to return to the elevator i think we just need to get out of here and we should be good to go yeah, you know, I didn't do that. I had a feeling the security was going to go off. I don't think there's any way around that. But anyways, we should have to lose the cops, head all the way back to our arcade, and we should be good to go. All right, and there we go. Hacking device has been delivered. All right, so everything for the support crew has been taken care of. And we have three more mandatory prep missions that we have to do. And then we have a bunch of optional prep missions. And one of the optional prep missions is going to be the way I actually want to get into this big con approach, which is going to be the young ancestor approach but in order to do that we actually still need to get an entry disguise so yeah i guess i'll take care of that now i mean the best entry disguise is going to be this one right here the group sex gear i mean all of them according to this are split into two parts so i might as well get the best one just in case the things go bad so yeah let's go get this all right so there's apparently a van that's up here in Polito bay which is actually kind of nice and then yeah we're supposed to steal this stockade but the thing with this mission is that apparently one of these guys has like key 
keys. But yeah, we have to be like, oh no, it's locked. And now we have to go like to the mechanic or one of the mechanics that we shot and steal their keys. And then once we get the keys, we can get into the stockade, bring it back to our arcade, and then that'll be it for this prep mission. All right, there we go. Part one for that has been complete. So now let's get into part two. Right, so here we go. Here's part two. So yeah, let's go and figure out what that's going to be. All right, so we made it all the way down here. And what we need to do here, we need to take a photo of the stockade's license plate, but then we also have to steal some gear and bring it back to our arcade, which is going to be a little annoying due to our location. Not much to see here. All right, and there we go. We acquired the outfits. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to jump into these young ancestor missions right here. Now, these technically are are not required but this is going to be our entry disguise it's a little confusing because this is going to be our entry disguise for the finale but we needed to complete an entry disguise mission which is what we just did but anyways yeah let's jump into the first mission right here yeah as i've said before i've never done this approach for the diamond casino eyes before so this is going to be definitely interesting for me and if i do something a little bit wrong just bear with me all right we made it over to the diamond casino so apparently young ancestor wants us to find his rental car dark blue rental this looks blue okay not dark enough okay there's a lot of dark blue cars am i blind or something i cannot find this oh is it here oh he put it in the was this the handicap parking <laughs> okay okay that makes sense okay i i don't know what's going on with young ancestor he said there's like a chopper outside of his room but we need to drive the rental car into the land act reservoir and ditch it because there's apparently some evidence in here oh my okay he just changed his mind we need to go to the abandoned lot and burn the rental my goodness, Mr. Ancestor Man. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I'm trying to think of like the logistics in real life. He's going to burn a rental car? How can you get away with burning a rental? I'm really trying to wrap my head around that. Buy it outright, then it makes more sense in my opinion. I don't know. I'm thinking too logically about this. This is Grand Theft Auto. This isn't real life simulator. Dude, now he wants me to go to the scrapyard <laughs> and crush the rental car. Oh my. I swear, dude. Oh my God. He changed his mind mine twice dude this guy's a little paranoid and i'm kind of understanding why he's a little paranoid it's because of what's in the no oh my god he's calling again okay so now we're gonna go to the altruist camp <laughs> oh my god okay yeah this is probably gonna be our final destination oh geez so we have to deliver the rental car to the altruist camp to get rid of the evidence for young ancestor once and for all so yeah i can already tell why people don't use this entry disguise like not just that you have to do extra missions just to do this but also the fact that this mission is a little bit annoying Okay, so young ancestor confirmed that this is where we're going this time. Hello, hello. Okay, okay. Nice gun you got there. Okay, yeah, looking over a dead corpse right there. I see you, yeah. Okay, kicking a dead corpse. Okay, interesting. Okay, nice gun you got there. What do you got? Oh, a sawed-off shotgun, sir. Very cool, very cool. Um, yeah, here you go. I guess you can have the rental car just in case if you ever want to go into the city. Um, oh, there's a movie prop here, too. Yeah, why not? Get a movie prop too while i'm at oh my god I have to return it to salmon richards i don't want to do that right now <laughs> I, I just pushed that guy off oh that's so funny all right and there we go mission complete well, that was a little annoying of a mission but it's all good all right so now we're back here and obviously as you can see we have one check mark by the young ancestor pamphlet so yeah let's go and let's get that other check mark by doing the next mission okay so once again we need to go over to the diamond casino uh, apparently young ancestor wants to talk to us face to face apparently so yeah let's head over to the casino okay so young ancestor called us back and apparently there's some guys in his apartment that got some evidence or something so yeah we have to destroy the evidence aka take these guys out okay you're being a little annoying guy bro he's evading everything oh my god a pressure of missiles are terrible there we go one down three to go all right there we go another piece of evidence taken out two more to go there we go another piece of evidence taken out one more to go all right, and there we go. Um, all cameras were destroyed. Wait, I thought there was another mission that I had to do. There's a specific setup mission that I thought I was going to do. That wasn't it. Oh, oh, the mission that I wanted to do has nothing to do with the young ancestor, <laughs> which is hilarious. Oh my God, it's kind of silly by me. But I mean, I still wanted to do the young ancestor approach because I've never done it before. Uh, but anyways, we have two more mandatory prep work that we have to do. We have to get vault drills and we have to get vault key cards. So yeah, first, thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do the vault drill mission so let's go steal that so yeah pretty much i think for this one we have to go steal two vault drills and bring it back to the arcade problem is 
because I can only carry one at a time. So this is going to be a little boring. So I'll see you for our next setup mission. All right, and there we go. The vault drills have been acquired. Um, So yeah, we have one more mandatory prep that we have to do, which is going to be the vault key card. So yeah, let me jump into that. Okay, so apparently we need to steal a prison bus containing guard uniforms and use them to infiltrate Bowling Brook Penitentiary. So essentially, we are doing the prison break heist just to get some key cards. Okay, the prison bus is about to arrive pretty soon so i'm gonna need this bus please holy crap i can't aim fantastic fantastic that is great yeah Oh, I got it. I got the driver, but I died in the process. <laughs> all right, so now let me drive four and a half miles all the way to Bowling for a penitentiary. Yeah, one of the big reasons why the Diamond Casino heist isn't used a whole lot nowadays to try to make a ton of money is the fact that all these setups, they kind of take a little bit. I've done some I probably didn't even need to do, like the Young Ancestor missions, but still, it's taken me roughly like two hours to get to this point so far, and we're about to finally complete our final mandatory setup mission, but there's gonna be two more that I think are pretty worth it of the optional preps that we have to do and then there's gonna be another one that i'm just looking forward to doing and then we'll actually be ready to go for the finale all right so we finally made it over to bowling brook penitentiary so here we go just doing the prison break heist haha -ha. oh wait for the gate to open i'm so used to us being forced to stop right here okay, there we go gates open i need this gate to open thank you very much and we need to search the tower for the prison guard i mean okay right, so here we go this is the tower we need to search right here which need to search the tower for the prison guard which is at the top of the this tower. So way I can do this stealthy. I don't remember. I feel like we always get the cops. I'm not 100% sure on that. Wait, where's this guy? Huh? Did I just walk past him? I didn't even know it. Oh my god, let's see how stupid I am. Oh my god, he was just sitting right here. I'm, mm, I'm so sorry. You know, it's February right now. It's about to be baseball. I was about to say it's baseball season. There's about to be baseball season, but there we go. Search the guard for the vault key card, and there we go. So now I just need to lose the cops, but the problem is I am just inside of the prison, so I'm going to try to get myself out of here by doing a little bit of that action. Worked for me to get out of the prison. Uh, I still have the cops on me. It's not a big deal. Let me get out of this hideous outfit. Okay, never mind. I can't get out this outfit yet. All right, and there we go. All we had to do is just lose the cops. All right, so yeah, there we go. We could technically start up the heist right now, but I don't think it's in our best interest to do that. So we're going to do three more options preps. Uh, the first one that we're going to do is going to be the exit disguise. I'm kind of shocked this isn't mandatory. We can either choose between noose and firefighter gear, but if you also collect every single playing card, which is one of the collectibles in GTA Online, there'll be another exit disguise of being a high roller, which then if you have that, then you don't actually need to do an exit disguise. And I don't think there's anything connected with exit disguises with young ancestor, but I don't know. I've never done it before, so I could be wrong with that. But just to be safe, I'm going to get firefighter gear i think fire fairy gear is gonna be better than the noose gear at least that's what i've heard so yeah let's go ahead and get that okay so we have to go ahead and steal a fire truck but here we go yeah i have a fire truck now i think we have to lose the cops and take this back to our arcade and then we should be good to go all right and there we go we acquired the firefighter outfits all right the next thing we need to do is we need to get a security pass now there's gonna be different levels of security passes that we can actually get so this one right here is gonna be level one security pass and this one right here is gonna be a level two security pass we're gonna want to get the level two security pass it's going to give us a little bit more options of where to go. So yeah, let's go ahead and acquire this. All right, so pretty much we need to blend in with a party. So yeah, we need to like go around and avoid suspicion. So now we need to locate this croupier, which is one of these guys that are just like face down after, you know, having too much fun. But there we go. Got the security pass. Oh, never mind. He didn't have the security pass on him. So yeah, that was a big waste of time. Oh, uh, so yeah, now we need to locate the security pass. Should be just laying it down somewhere. Oh, it's right here. It's over here by this plant. And there we go. We have that acquired so all we have to do is just pretty much leave the area and we should be good to go all right and there we go heist prep complete so we have one more heist prep that we have to do so let's get into that all right so the final prep work that i'm going to do is actually going to be the security intel mission now i don't think this is really that necessary at all but i think there's a mission in here that's pretty fun so yeah let's launch this mission and let's figure it out all right so for this mission we need to go over to rockford plaza we have to go down here then we have to get to this point right here and then we get in a cutscene and look it's our boy vincent my goodness he's about to be a very busy guy pretty soon but yeah anyways yeah we're just chilling with vincent right here and if you don't remember this was the guy that worked at the diamond casino as the bouncer but then he got fired
scared and he just got run over. I'm uh, not gonna lie, Vince. You gotta have that agility, you know. You gotta get out the way and then you know go pop pop, you know. But it's fine, it's fine. You know, I'll save you, Vince. You're too good of a guy. I'll just boost it into a wall. Okay, so yeah, we have to search the area for the gauntlet. That gauntlet that just ran over Vincent, our boy Vincent, who's gonna be pretty busy in 2024. Okay, there's the gauntlet. Now we have to recover this gauntlet. Da, I am in the wrong vehicle for this. Great. Excuse me, can you stop your car? Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna get a different car for this. I am going to pull out my Viva Knight. The Viva Knight that we just bought pretty recently. Ah, uh, never mind. Never mind. I don't have to chase him down anymore. He made it to his crew. All right, so yeah, we have to take out a bunch of these guys. All right, yeah, I think we're good. So yeah, now we're in the gauntlet and we should have to take it back to Rockford Plaza. All right, so we made it back to Rockford Plaza. Oh my God. Vincent made a miraculous recovery. He gets run over by a car. I mean, he has a noticeable limp, but it's okay. Okay, and there we go. Vincent's gonna give us a flash drive full of, I think, security intel at the Diamond Casino. Goodbye, Vincent. I'll see you soon. And there we go. Heist prep complete. I've never even done that mission before, but I want to do it because of Vincent. And Vincent's gonna get pretty busy pretty soon. But now it's time for us to get into this heist finale. So yeah, let's start this heist up. All right, so we have all the subs I want to do, and it's a brand new day for me. Before we go into it, I just want to mention we're not getting some of these optional prep missions because I think it's a little bit unnecessary. Necessary. Yeah, I think patrol routes are kind of necessary for this. Dug in shipments. I mean, we really shouldn't be even hitting any guards or at least dealing with any guards. Like, we shouldn't be shooting anyone inside the Diamond Casino. And this one affects, like, how good their weapons and armor are. Power drills. Um, yeah, I've had people who have really hadn't done a Diamond Casino heist before. And they're standing, like, right next to, like, a bundle of cash. But instead, they use a power drill to, like, get the safety deposit boxes that are, like, right beside it, which is far less valuable. So we're just going to avoid that from happening again and we had the potential to acquire mass too but that is unnecessary so yeah this is how we're gonna go into the diamond casino heist oh nice okay we get a nice cut scene we are gonna skip that all right anyways here we are uh for this heist i got two other players in oh uh, you can't do this solo and when you get something other than the artwork i think it's personally better to get at least three people anyways we have to pick our entry disguise which we are going to use the young ancestor entry disguise which is going to be through the main door which is going to be very interesting uh, exit strategy is going to be staff lobby. Exit disguise, we're going to be using the firefighter exit disguise. All right, and the buyer that we're going to use, we're going to use the high level buyer because it's going to give us the most amount of money. So yeah, this is how I want this heist to run. And usually people will accept 15%. Some people might be a little bit annoying. I don't feel obligated to give these people more than 15% because they haven't helped me out. They just showed up. They're lucky to be here. Anyways, jump into the heist. Dude, this kind of looks sick. I'm kind of digging the purple here. But before we actually get into the heist make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave a like down below while you're at it because we're about to rob the diamond casino heist okay here we go we are doing the diamond casino heist the big con approach okay it says i got the label to leave you a vehicle use it if you need a ride to the diamond and remember you legit competition winners um okay i don't even know what that's supposed to mean yeah i just want to make this very clear i don't know exactly how to do this approach i haven't watched any guides on this so this is going to be very interesting Interesting. Usually I come prepared, but I wanted to come to this one without really any preparation just to see how it goes. Oh my goodness. I'm not driving. Just want to make that clear. There's someone else. Oh yeah, by the way, we are doing this heist with a level 264 and a level 122. So pretty good level individuals. Hopefully these people have the mental wherewithal to actually be able to complete a diamond casino heist. All right, so finally made it over to the diamond casino. Now what are we doing? Okay, so we just have to make it to the casino, I guess. What are we supposed to do from here? Oh, we have to go to management area got it okay so yeah this part's a little bit annoying i can't run throughout the casino anymore we have to walk all the way over to management area can i play a slot machine no thanks game all right so we made it to the management area now what's happening are we gonna get a cutscene or something oh yeah we are getting a cutscene. oh brucey mm, nice to see you okay well young ancestor and brucey are kind of freaking out right now hey yo well, okay <laughs> just shot him in the leg wait how did you not hear the gunshot <laughs> she kind of heard it <laughs> What is going on? Okay, so we got a card. Okay, and then we just shifted through a door, I guess. And now we're in here. Now what? We have to get to the basement. This is our way to the basement. There is no way that's how we get to the basement. What? 
We already alerted the guards. Okay. Yeah, we're screwed. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's just restart. Yeah, just restart. It's fine. Yeah, okay. All right. So that cutscene was actually pretty funny. But I think the heist from here on out is going to be incredibly hard. Because, you know, we're not disguised up pretty well. No, this guy's shooting. Yeah, no, you can't use real guns. Oh, dude. <laughs> this is going to be so difficult. My goodness. I'm just going to die on purpose. Shoot me. Oh, he just shot the guy behind me. Oh, my God. I'm trying to die. I'm trying to die die hold on give me okay okay i'm gonna have to try to take charge i mean if worse comes to worst i can switch the outfit that is not a problem because we have the best outfit in our back pocket one of these guys keeps making the same mistake i want to take charge i want to get up ahead no do not use that don't use that okay he's using it it's the same guy isn't it yeah that guy keeps making mistakes bro i'm trying to die because i want to do this stealthy kill me thank you i would like to do this stealthy okay well i figured out the stairwell part i'm very happy with that the stairwell part Part doesn't seem to be that hard. Okay, yeah, you just have to wait for the camera to pan and then just jump around like that. And then you get down here, and then this is where I gotta figure out where to go. Yeah, he's been caught. Yeah, you've been caught. It's the same guy. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. Well, you know what? I'm kind of thinking, like, what was that card that we stole off of the desk? What is that even for? I don't even know what that's for. Okay, this guy really wants to go in this way, but there's guards in here. There's a guard right there. Okay, took him out quick. We don't have suppressors on here. This guy thinks we have suppressors. Bro, this is just starting to piss me off. Okay. I mean, sure, we can make it down here, but I'm just gonna be honest. Y'all are gonna die. I mean, yeah, we're down here and whatnot, but you know, if y'all can make it all the way back there to the vault, then I'll keep going. But if we fail on this attack, Oh, geez, I'm about to die. I don't want to be the one that dies, though. If we fail, then we're going to move on, and we're going to go back to the best way to do this. Okay, they're actually not doing bad now. This is where we needed me to do the Duggan Shipments mission. See, if I did the Duggan Shipments, then it would have been a lot easier to take out these guys. But, I mean, at the same time, we shouldn't have to take out these guys. Okay, I guess we're going to do it then. Okay, I will keep going, I guess. I said if they were able to make it, then we'll keep going. Okay, we've made it over to the vault door. Um, let's go grab the cash, I guess. This is how I like to do it, just because I'm good at the hack. I like to go and and try to get the hacks done. Okay, I gotta do this hack real quick. If my team doesn't get a lot of money, then I might just dip, but I think we're doing all right, yeah. On a good run, I think three people should get close to all of the money, but since we alerted the guards, we only have two minutes instead of three minutes to try to take everything. So yeah, that's not good, but man, yeah, whatever. I think we did get a lucky run though, at least as far as like the vault door. I don't think there was too many doors we had to hack through, which is nice. I and mean, we have like three more things to get. I don't think we have enough time to get the rest of everything. Oh, then another teammate's trying to hack. We don't have enough time to get all that other stuff. <laughs> One teammate's still hacking, and then one's grabbing cash. Yeah, I'm just getting out. I mean, the gas is about to come on in. Uh, we're gonna leave with 1,500,000 ish. Yeah, you can stay in there while the gas is still going, but it eats away at your health, so don't wanna stay in there too long. Alright, so now we have to make it out of here, which is gonna be a little interesting. Every time we do get hit, our take is gonna go down, so obviously so we don't want that. Ah, here we go. Yeah, these guys that have so much health. Yeah, I think I remember saying we don't really need to use our weapons. Unfortunately, that is not... Oh my God, I'm about to die. Unfortunately, that is not the case here. Bop. There you go. That's a one shot. All right, I'm using the elevator. I'm using the elevator because we already have alerted everyone. Okay, how are we going to get out of here? You know, we don't need to exit disguise anymore. Bop. Bop. Nice. Well, that wasn't smart. I tried to melee that guy again, but I died. Yeah, I am very curious at how you're supposed to do this, like, incredibly stealthy. Like, I'm sure there's a way, but you're gonna have to be extremely coordinated. Yeah, but anyway, since I died, we, uh, spawned back here. So, you have to make it all the way back to where we were again. Oh, nice. Both my teammates died. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way around it. This is my fault. <laughs> <laughs> this is my fault that we're in this situation just because I chose this approach. But hey, we're having a fun time. Or at least I am. Dude, that guy keeps dying. Oh my God, you're kind of pissing me off now. I mean, you've been pissing me off. Bro, and then that guy left. Instead of leaving, how about just think about dying and then not do that? Bro, and that was a level 264 too. Oh my God, you are not a level 264. He alerted the guards, I think, every time. And he died, I think, 10 times, roughly. All right, young ancestor approach was pretty fun, but we're not gonna do that again. We're gonna use the other approach that we've already prepared for. What? I literally just loaded in and four people are already here. I don't know how that, I, I quite literally just clicked to start this up and four people just already appeared. Didn't have to click on a single thing. You know what? Fine. I'll do this with all these guys. I don't know though. I kind of, you know, no, 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 no. They earned it. They earned it. I was about to be greedy for a second, but no, 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 no. And they're all pretty decent levels too. Or, it's not decent. That's good. 
those are good levels. Ah, the cutscene again that I'm going to skip through. So our entry disguise last time was the young ancestor entry disguise. Now, as we saw it, that wasn't fun. All right, okay, no, no. Okay, I need to use my words correctly. It was fun. It wasn't smart. I had a fun time. So this time we're going to use this one, the fun word one. So our entrance is going to be the security tunnel. Um, Our exit uh, is going to be the staff lobby and exit disguise is going to be firefighters. We're going to use the high level buyers because we're not broke boys. All right, here we go. So let's try this again. The big con approach for the casino heist. Oh, no way. He died from that, too. No way. No way. That was hilarious. Oh, my God. That is so funny. Okay, anyways, we have to head over to the casino in the stockade right here. And this is going to be the best strategy for the big con approach. And in my opinion, this is the best way to do the diamond casino heist as a whole. I mean, obviously, you can't just do the big con approach just repeatedly. But if you have the choice between big con and any of the other two, you are obviously choosing the big con. And yeah, you're really going to see just how easy this method is compared to what we just went through. Like, this is going to be quite literally a cakewalk. And we have four people in here, too. So we should get all the cash. So yeah, this should be a good time. All right, we finally made it over to the Diamond Casino. And this time, we are not going through the main entrance. We are gonna go over here, and we're gonna go down here, and it, it cuts us off there. And yeah, it's gonna show us entering the casino underground. Okay, so now we're inside the casino, but we're at a completely different spot. But anyways, yeah, we need to make it over to the loading bay, kind of like the prison break heist, where you kind of just sit here and you're like, hello, I need to get in. All right, so now all we have to do is go to the loading bay. Okay, so yeah, let's park the truck. And now it's time for us to get going. So yeah, we need to head down to the basement. And yeah, I think we can actually use the elevator. Usually on the way out, after collecting all your stuff, you don't want to use the elevator, but I think we can use the elevator here. All right, and you're about to see why this is going to be the best strategy because we are already down at the bottom floor. Obviously no one's been alerted and we can literally just run right past these people. We can just walk right past them. They don't care. I mean, last time if we wanted to do it sneaky, we had to like, try to sneak around them but this time around we don't have to at least down here and before we get into the vault we can just walk right past them and then we have a little bit of freedom on our way out too which you'll see all right and here we go we've made it here and yeah this guy doesn't even suspect a thing we are so close to our objective and he's literally just gonna open the vault door for us i really appreciate it sir you are a kind gentleman but you are also a tired gentleman because you're getting knocked out and put to bed all right let's go get our cash all right same ordeal um i'm going to okay that person was go ahead you want to hack go ahead i'll hack right here then yeah see last time we had like two minutes minutes and something we have three minutes and i think 20 seconds here because we didn't alert any of the guards okay there we go that hack is done i'm gonna try to find more hacks before i start collecting stuff i just want to take care of the hacks myself just because i know i can complete these hacks and i don't know if my teammates you know have the capabilities of actually completing these hacks so i'd rather just take it into my own hands because i'm pretty good at these hacks but there we go that hack is done easy okay this would have been the time for me to get the power drill if i would have gotten the power drill for this time around like that would have made sense because we could have gotten these boxes with probably a good amount of time left still, but it's okay. Yeah, I think we've almost fully looted the place. Yeah, the last two spots are being looted right now, which is crazy. Yeah, I mean, we've done this incredibly quick. So yeah, I guess I'm just gonna chill out here. All right, and there we go. We have the entire take right there of $2,115,000. So now we have to make it out of here. And at least on this level, we are still stealthy, or at least we're still disguised. We can just walk right past these guys and they won't suspect the thing. All right, so the door is just gonna open up. No one's shooting at us like last time. We can literally just hop right past them. They don't care. All right, and this time around, we're gonna use the stairs. All right, now we're on a different level, and yeah, now we have the cops, but we're still under stealth. Take out that guy. Take out that guy. Take out that guy, guy. Okay, good. Okay, good. There's just a lot of chaos going on right here. No, you, they shot the gun. Yeah, okay, yeah. There's just too many people, and they're too aggressive, these guys I'm playing with. We could have done this completely stealthy, but some of my teammates screwed it up. They got a little ahead of me. What happened? Oh, I guess someone died. I didn't see that. And then obviously, as we started out this heist, someone died. Can't believe that actually came back to bite us. Getting out of here is not that hard, in my opinion. You just gotta do it right. I think the people that did it last time, they rushed. They rushed a little bit. You gotta take your time with it. So I'm gonna try to get out ahead as much as possible. Okay, so now we're up here. We wanna wait for, as you can see on the mini map, there's a guard that's about to turn the corner and pass right by us. We want to wait for this guard to pass by this door. And then once he passes 
by this door. We want to melee. Okay, I'm stuck. Okay. I want to melee him. And yeah, we can do that quietly. And then there's going to be another guard, as you can see on the mini map, turning the corner right there. And then as he passes by us right there, melee him like that. And now I can sneak. Shoot, I can't sneak in there. Uh oh. Okay, good. I thought that was about to screw us over for a second. All right, so now we need to go collect our outfits, our exit disguises. So yeah, now we can get into a different disguise. We're gonna get into a firefighter outfit because the firefighters have to come in and make sure, you know, things are A-OK -okay after someone robs the place. So one of my teammates doesn't have a disguise. I wonder, who is it? It's you. Yeah, get your disguise. Get your disguise. All right, cool, cool, cool. That guy's getting this disguise. All right, so now we can walk past everyone once again and we should be good to go. They want us to exit through the main entrance. I wanna use the side entrance. Okay, okay. I don't know why people are using the main entrance. I don't think that's smart. Did I accidentally set it at main entrance? I don't think I meant to do that. If this is how y'all want to go out, then okay, fine. Very interesting. I don't think I've exited this way before. Yeah, so now we're just literally walking through the casino like a moron. Yeah, what are we doing? This is stupid. It's just a waste of time. We're just walking a little more. I mean, we're still stealthy though. I mean, no one suspects that there's a firefighter just walking through the casino. Okay, we've made it to the main entrance now, so <laughs> can we actually get out of here? Okay, yeah, here we go. Here comes all the SWAT team and whatnot. I mean, sure, fine. I'm just gonna walk right past y'all. Y'all looking for a guy in a paper mask when instead he's just a firefighter. So yeah, all we have to do now is just to deliver the loot to the buyer. Yeah, we're literally just running past cops right now. So yeah, I'm gonna head over to a car, probably our main. Did someone get caught? Dude, why? Why are y'all getting caught? Who got caught there? Okay, anyways, yeah, let me get this cop car then. I don't know where my teammates went, but I think they got caught and I don't know where they're going either to be honest but i have a teammate with me and we can just get into a helicopter like smart intelligent people so yeah we're gonna get here and same ordeal as the union depository contract we're gonna just go over here climb up here climb this way climb up here climb up here turn around this way climb up here and look at that a beautiful helicopter just sitting and waiting for us and where are my teammates they're really trying to make a getaway for it ah uh, poor guys so now we just have to lose the cops and deliver the loot to the fire but it's gonna be a collective unit it can't be just two of us doing it you know i would like for my other teammates to get in the helicopter. Hello. Do y'all want to? Nope. They're driving away from me. Okay. Oh, teammates. Oh, teammates. I'm just chilling in a helicopter and y'all are sweating when I mean, y'all don't have to sweat. All you have to do is just stop the car. Nice. 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 Now. Yeah. There you go. Okay. That was not close. Now y'all are using your heads. Good job. Good job, fellas. Huh? <laughs> that guy didn't get in. I thought you were in. I'm so sorry. It looked like he was getting in on my screen. And then at the last second, he was like falling out. So now we can deliver the loot to the buyer. But we have to lose the cops. But that shouldn't be an issue in a helicopter. All right. And there we go. We lost the cops. Um, As we were leaving the Diamond Casino, I think we lost like $80,000, which kind of sucks. All right. And there we go. We have made it to the buyer. We didn't even have to land our helicopter. Yep. There you go. There's our briefcase. They're going to take their little duffel bag. And there we go. Heist pass. What? bronze excuse me i kind of orchestrated that for the most part okay but anyways i got 55 percent of that so i got eight hundred and fifty one thousand dollars. all right so after that diamond casino heist we're now sitting on we're now sitting on me getting run over. Excellent timing. But anyways, we're sitting on $865,000. So we still need to make over $9 million before we can actually purchase the Galaxy Super Yacht. But you're going to have to see just how we're going to get the rest of this money so we can actually purchase the yacht. Make sure you check out this video right here if you want to see just how to stop being broke in GTA Online.